What's up, Celebration? Hector here on the floor at one of the most popular booths. The one that every collector knows all about. The, I'm talking about the big pins, you guys. I'm here with Amato. We're about to talk about this awesome Celebration exclusive stuff. But before we do that, Amato, what is your official title at FigPin? I'm a co-founder and chief product officer at FigPin. So that we can thank you for all of this. I've done a lot of this, yeah. Wow. I've, I've actually, I've literally built this booth. Dude, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank and you. also, I heard it's your first Star Wars celebration. Absolutely. Welcome. Yeah. Mine too, yeah. dude. Welcome. We it's, did it. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. We we are, a lot of us are originally Star Wars fans, and for us to be able to be here with Figpin to, to celebrate and to just see the fandom here has been absolutely amazing. So I know that people right now watching at home are massive Figpin collectors. You guys are everywhere. You guys have got everything, but Star Wars right. is some of the best stuff that you have, and you brought special things just for Star Wars Celebration. Let's talk about some of this stuff. Yeah, man. absolutely. What we wanted to do when we developed the exclusives for the show is try to hit all the fandoms in the Lucasfilm universe. Yes. So, Dude, you it, even got 4LOM. I see 4LOM right there. Right, yeah, so 4LOM and um, where is where Right is here. This? Yeah, so this is part of, I, this is kind of a secret, but I'll tell everyone, this is part of a bounty hunter set that we're, that we're building where we're going to have all six bounty hunters. Oh. We're selling them two at a time, and then in the end we'll have a Darth Vader that's, oh. that, that finishes off the set. So we've so. got four LOM, IG-88. IG-88, that's Talking right. Talking about all the different fandoms, you've also got Bad Batch here. Yeah. We've so got Wrecker, Crosshair, that's Hunter. Right. We had done Bad Batch with the helmets on, so for a celebration, we, we thought we'd pull the helmets off and do three three of the characters as a, as a show exclusive. You know you know what I love about it, Amato, is that there's different ways to display the Fig Pin collection, which that's I right. love. It's like you can have the pins themselves, in the packaging is so beautiful. Look at this, look at this Aura Sing. Yeah. I love this, the art yeah. on the back. Absolutely, you know, one of the things that we've done is every Fig Pin has this uh, uh, kickstand, so it'll actually allow you to stand up your pin. Whoa. But if it's a pin that can't stand, obviously like BB-8, yes. well he can stand, but. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, he, has a little, he has a little stand that lets him oh, stand up. That's and that's what the name Fig Pin comes from, is a figure pin. Yeah. So they're little figures that you could stand up and and, and we go beyond pins. It's um, it's really more of a collectible, and like you're saying, it's about the case. It's yes, about how it's yes. displayed. Look and, at this. and what we wanted to do is take pins and just elevate them to the next level. And I think we've we've done that um, in the, the kind of art that we create, in how they're displayed, and then lastly, in how collectors engage with the pins after they purchase it. Yeah. Every single pin that we manufacture has a unique alphanumeric serial number laser engraved on the back. What? So if you download the Figpin app and unlock your Figpin in the app. It's in your app. It's, the, the pin is now in your app and the app's going to show you all kinds of manufacturing attributes. What edition the pin is, how many were run in that edition, and what number yours is in that production run. And you can see your whole collection and in the you app You can put too. your entire collection oh in the gosh. app. Really no other manufacturer does this, um, where we, we tell people exactly how many pieces we've made, what number yours is in the run. Yeah. But that's really just the beginning of the app experience because as you start engaging with your collection, you start earning more points. Smart, smart. So the more points you have, the more what we call Figpin power that you get in the app. And what you do with all this Figpin power is you actually can buy super rare exclusive pins what? that are available only in the app. I don't know, so Amato, do you, do you have the most Figpin power out of anybody on the planet? <laughs> I don't actually. My, my collection is very, very modest. Okay, okay. But, sure, uh, we, Amato, we have, sure. All right. <laughs> we have some collectors out there that have wow. a huge amount of pins. I, I want to keep showing these off. You've got this amazing Dark Trooper here, a Boba Fett, a Yoda. This yeah. is uh, Talk about some of these what? other pieces here. This is yeah, so absolutely. great. Let me, let me talk about this one. As you can see, Figpins have numbers. Yeah. So, Crosshair is number 793. So when we came to 501, no way. I was like, guys, we have to do a Stormtrooper. Storm yeah, like how cool would it be if Figpin 501 was a Stormtrooper? Beautiful, so beautiful. That's, that's what we have here. And look, I love the way that the Dark Trooper is displayed with the card in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is the, the backer card, and it'll give you all the information on the pin in the back. Amazing. So, and then talk about this little Yoda. I love the Clone War style. Look at that. The artistry is yeah. amazing. The, the gold and white technique is, is one that we save for, for rare limited edition pins. So this is one of 1,500 pieces made, never to be made again. What? And then if you go to figpin.com, you'll be able to see like a full color version of Yoda that oh, you could cool. buy 
um, on .com and eventually in places like Target and Walmart and yeah, GameStop. Yeah, yeah. So all yeah. of this is available at Star Wars Celebration here at the booth. This is, yeah, the, the, the Star Wars Celebration exclusives are right here at this booth. Um, are you guys selling out? This is crazy. We we are selling a lot of them. <laughs> we have daily allotments for, you know, uh, it, for, for it, each day it. of the event. And at the end of each day, you know, we'll have a few left over here and there, but we, we expect to sell out of, of everything. Guys, yeah. they're going to be here for the rest of Saturday as well as Sunday. This is perfect because I, as a collector, I love figures, I love pins, right. and I've always been so annoyed that they're separate, and now they're right. together. Here it is. Here Amato, it is. thank you so much for talking to My us, pleasure. Man. My pleasure. We so appreciate it, guys. we got more Star Wars Celebration Live coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere.